What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Jared 2 Production. My name is Jose and thank you guys for joining me here today. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button before we get started with this video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. Today we're actually going to be doing an unboxing of my new camera, the a7 III. So I've been a big fan of Sony over two years now. My first camera was actually a Canon T5i, which I loved Canon, I loved their color science, but then when I got introduced to Sony, it was just revolutionary and mind blowing. So I had a very tough decision between the Sony a7 III or the Canon EOS R. Um, I looked at both of them and I compared the specs, but for me, I found that the a7 III was the best fit. So without further ado, and instead of me just boring you to death with words, let's go ahead and open this up. So real quick, I will link down in the description below the links that I did use to get this special package of the a7 III with additional little features that it had. Um, I didn't just get the body, I got the body with other items on it as well. So go ahead and check that out down below. So one of the items that comes in this package is a camera bag. So I have plenty of these and I don't really carry around my cameras in a bag like this, but it is handy to have one just in case I do want to use it for the time being, especially while I'm while this camera's brand new and I don't want to drop it. Actually, there's something inside. So as you can see, this is very bright green interior, which is it's not bad, but it's just not a good looking color. It does have little splitters inside where you can go ahead and split that up to have your camera or lenses on either side. So let's set that to the side and, and let's check out what this bag that was inside that bag had. Oh, so this is kind of like your mini Joby tripod. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, it looks really thick. But wow, this is crazy. Look, it's like legit, almost a complete Joby leg. Now this does move a little different than the Joby leg, which I might actually like. It is a little stiffer than the ones I currently have. Uh, I love Joby legs, but I feel like they don't last that long. And then inside you do get a screen guard for the LCD screen on the a7 III. That would come in handy. And then here you have a little brush, I guess to clean off the lens or the screen. I don't know, whatever you want to do with the little brush. And then you do have an all purpose cleaner for the lens or for your LCD screen as well. And then a little screen cleaner, little, uh, little cloth material. I'm not really sure what this is. But I think this is to hold your camera. I'm not really sure. Then a little air pump. If you're using your camera out in the dust, uh, or out in the dirt, I mean, you can just go ahead and blow it out. You get a USB and a few little alcohol swabs. And I believe this is an SD card holder. So you get about six of these. I already have my own, but thank you for sending them. All right, let's see what else we can draw out of the box next. So here we do have a 64 gigabyte Lexar card. So this does seem like it could be a good card to have. I will definitely take any card that I'm given. Uh, you really do go through cards when you're shooting 4K. So yes, it seems like there is another little deluxe starter kit. I'm pretty sure that goes with the other materials as well. Not really sure what this is. Um, so I'll check that out later. And then let's see what we have. A lithium ion battery for digital cameras. So I'm guessing this is like a battery. Oh sweet, so you do get an extra battery. Um, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that actually was included in the package, but I'll go ahead and take it. And then we do have this tripod, which I don't, I don't know. I'm not like, I'm really picky on my tripods. Um, I still have yet to found a perfect tripod, but there are a lot that are decent. Um, I haven't used this one, but I feel like I've had something similar and it wasn't necessarily the best. Um, so I'll go ahead and um, show you guys this tripod and I'll show you how it works later, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one necessarily. So a few other things that I found, I did find another 64 gigabyte card inside the box, so that's awesome. It comes with two in this package, two 64 gigabyte 4K capable cards. Incredible, thank you. Thank you to that package again. I will link it down in the description below where you guys can go ahead and check that out if you guys want to get this exact package that I got. Oh, so that battery that I showed you guys earlier, actually this is the charger for it, so that's actually really cool and it'd be actually even cooler if there's already a battery inside the Sony. Um, so when, I'll basically have two batteries is what I'm trying to say. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, charger and a battery included as well. Um, so now for the main piece that you guys have all been waiting for is the actual Sony camera itself. Boom, the Sony a7 III. Wow, I finally have the Sony a7 III, which is incredible. Um, I've been looking forward to this camera for a while and I finally have it. Um, so I'm definitely excited to make more content now. Um, and I have been trying to make more content on my channel. Thank you for those 250 subscribers that are already on my channel. It means a lot to me. Um, each and every one of you guys 
um, that you guys have joined and have been actually a part of this uh, community for a long time. So thanks again and hopefully we can grow this community here in 2021. And I'll be definitely making more content for you guys as the year goes on. So in the box, of course, you do get your Sony strap, which I don't really use these straps that often because uh, I put my camera on the gimbal and I put it on the tripod all the time. So I don't really hold it around too often. And when you're trying to twist it on there, or trying to twist to the bottom, it kind of just gets tangled everywhere and it's such a big mess. So I'll just keep that there for now. Empty compartment. And of course, we have the meat of the patty, the Sony A7 III. Let's go ahead and take it out of its little package here. Comes wrapped like a little sandwich, which I like. Wow, so I already, I already can tell that this does feel a lot heavier than the Sony that I currently have. Um, of course, it is a bigger body, so obviously it's gonna be a little heavier than that. Um, so it does come with the charger um, power box, and sorry for all the noise, but it does come with an extra battery, so awesome, what I was saying earlier about the battery. Um, and it does come with a charging cable, so instead of you having to change the batteries out, you can always just give it a quick plug-in, uh, no big deal there. So again, this is the Sony a7 III, I'm very excited to use it. Um, I have a few lenses that I'm probably going to use for this, um, I'm not a big fan of these little sounds either. The Canon didn't have that, so I hate that this has it, um, but it is what it is. But I do have a few other accessories and um, lenses that I will be attaching to this later on. But for later, I will be showing you guys some more footage of the Sony a7 III in action. Um, but for now, that's kind of my quick unboxing. Again, I will link in the description this exact package that I bought. So if you guys are interested in buying this package that I bought that contains all these goodies and accessories um, included at like one price, then again, it's down in the description below. Um, but again, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for further content that I will be making. Um, because now that I do have a camera that's a little bit better stabilization than the current one, um, it's a lot easier to make videos without having to take out too much equipment. Um, so again, make sure to subscribe and get ready for some awesome content coming later on this year and early 2021. See you guys.